God. I know y'all shocked to see me here. Was, we have a new show. I don't know. Show. We have a new show. This is going to be recorded. We're not streaming it because at this time it's 1019. I'm like half dead. But <laughs> welcome to the pilot episode. We're probably gonna move today. But welcome to the pilot episode of All Elite Waffling, hosted buttered and syrup on top by. Not really me, I'm just the recorder. Hosted by Ryro and Matt. And that. I'm the new guy. Hi. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How's everybody? Uh, Matt over here is like, I just basically my little brother. I'm like a few months older than him. Just. Let's stop. We're excited. These my homies. Uh, These are my homies. Yeah, I, I, we, we talked. We decided that it's good to have a a different show it's good to, to you know have a diverse audience um i like I, i've been on the record saying that i don't hate AEW. i actually i really like AEW. the pay-per-views have had i i'm I, from what i heard tonight hit so that's that's whatever that's going on whenever good things are going on in AEW, that means wrestling is going good doing good in general so it's a word um, let's skip the Chris Jericho shit, cause fuck him. And let's just go to other stuff. That was ah, good. Yeah. Um, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'll save my rant for later. My down bad atrocious simping rant for later. Oh yeah. If y'all want to get into that now. He, 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 he be down bad a lot. He be down bad. Um, we... Man. What do y'all okay. want to start with? I Wait, say we start with the John week. Moxley stuff. John Moxley. So, oh yeah, him and Darby yeah. Allen. Yeah, him and Darby. Yeah, he called out Darby Allen for I believe a street fight, but I could be wrong. Yeah. So basically, so uh, they're gonna fight at Grand Slam. Darby won the Royal Rampage match, which guaranteed him a AEW title shot at Grand Slam. Um, Mox, um, since when he came back. He said he wanted to talk to Darby. Um, and basically, we found out what he wanted to talk to him about. He basically said, you going to hand over that AEW title shot to me because you don't know what's going to happen. And he's like, I can't explain it to you right now. And he's like, but I'm going to need that title. I'm going to need that title match. Darby was like, nah, you tripping. And he's like, if you want the shot, you're going to have to fight me for it. And Mox was basically like, all right, but you ain't ready. But... All right, I'll give you what you want. So he's like, Grand Slam, we going to fight. So now Grand Slam is going to be Darby Allen versus John Moxley. Winner, Steve, Brian Danielson. Or, as we now know as well, we'll get into that, maybe Nigel McGuinness. But Nigel McGuinness will probably be a squash match, but that's for a different conversation. Yeah, that's going to be uh, very interesting. So my question is, do, do you have... Do y'all want to see the Shane McMahon invasion story? Because that's what this is. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Keep nah. Keep no. Keep away from no. Nah. I never want to see him again. Now, if this is a... Di- if they're doing, like, a, a, a different twist to, like, sort of like a takeover type of story, okay. But I, I just... Next me, personally, I do not want to see Shane McMahon involved, personally. Uh... If he is involved, I feel like that's just gonna tank the story because it's it's ultimately I think it's going to lead up to uh, X WWE and uh, AEW versus AEW uh, itself, um, and I don't want that. Yeah, I agree. Um, now I with the Shane takeover thing. If it's like a takeover thing, I like saying my you, I think that's all right, but I don't want. My thing is, I feel like with the rumors that happen when, you know, and funny enough, <laughs> your favorite Mercedes, she's the one that posted the picture of him, of Tony and Shane in a meeting together. Of course you um, So, Steve, like they are going to be doing business. Nothing confirmed yet, but they have been talking. I'd rather see Shane just be someone how like Vince was with ECW, where he was just handing the money like he was like an investor, like a kind of a secret investor. 
I'd rather have him be that than any on-screen character because this is not needed. I don't need to see a Tony Khan versus Shane McMahon type of angle where it's AEW versus Shane's group. I'm, I'm good on that. I'm very much good on that. I don't need to see Shane McMahon on TV. But if he's going to be involved with the company, I'm cool with that. Just don't put him in those storylines because I, I, no thank you. You think he's better off pulling the strings behind the scenes? Yeah, I think I like to think he should be pulling strings behind the scenes anyway because we saw what happened last time he was in WWE. He tried to book himself to win the Royal Rumble. So I don't even think he should be near any booking decisions. I think, like I said, I think he should just be like Vince with when he was when ECW was kind of um, picking up where he was just bung, oh, early uh, ECW. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. When he yeah. was actually giving yeah. money, helping Paul Heyman pay the checks and stuff like that. Yeah, stuff like that. So I think, um, and Shane well, knows the business very well, so he can help Tony out with maybe some business deal or something. I really just think he should come in and stay on the business side. I don't think he should be anywhere near the wrestling. I agree. I feel that. I feel that because, I mean, and if they do send him to, like, to be on TV, it would be a lot like when they signed Ric Flair. Like, you keep throwing all this money to people for absolutely zero fucking reason. Like I mean, yeah. it's, it's like Ric Flair, but we haven't seen him since the since Sting retired, and I feel like this would be something exactly like this. It would be a complete waste of money, a complete waste of time. Speaking of, and you're also and you're also taking and you're also taking TV time away from people who actually deserve it. Speaking of a waste of money, um, uh, the Hurt Business are in talks with AEW. Uh, I'm not surprised. I don't think it would be a good idea for the sake of AEW because you're just adding a group of 47, 48, 49, 50 year olds uh, to a group of wrestlers who are already kind of on the older side. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I agree. Now, um, Bobby I Lashley would... and AEW, it would be cool, but if this was like Five years ago, sure. Now he keeps on getting injured. He clearly lost his step. And as much as MVP is a great, uh, what you call it, manager, I think he kind of needs to cut it loose. So, and Shelton, he'll be a good mentor for the youngest, younger guys. But I think it's more so to try to get Bobby into like a world title team. I don't think it means at this point in his career. Uh, yeah, I honestly, when I heard that they were leaving WWE, I was more on the side of them going back to TNA and doing the Hurt Business thing kind of over there. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm tired of seeing everyone go to AEW. It's not the only place people can go. And also, I'm tired of fans saying people need to just jump ship to AEW when they leave WWE. There's other companies. People can go to New Japan. People can go to TNA. Like When Mustafa Ali left, everyone was like, he should go to AEW. And I was like, no, go to TNA and he could run that X division, which is what he did and did a great job, mind you why, when he did. So I think Bobby and um, MVP need to go back to TNA. They're familiar with it over there. They, um, even though um, Lashley wasn't part of the Beatdown Clan, um, they still had their own thing when they were the MLK Alliance. When it was him, MVP, and Kenny King, so they can do that over there. Now I know Tony Khan is it and, or, or is it MVP. Kenny King? Nah, he left. Um, I think I don't know where he's at. He didn't go back to Ring of Honors. Well, obviously. So I think I don't know where he at at the moment. <laughs> um, so I don't know where he's at, which is funny because I follow him. I don't know. I feel like he went to CMLL, but I could be wrong. So I don't want to get quoted on that. I swear he was like still there for a bit. He, uh, I feel like he, the I, thing I, about, oh, no, he's freelance because I, oh, I, I remember oh. he, he won. Yeah, he was digital media champion. I saw him in person with the digital media championship. He lost, he lost the time he came. I was there. Um, oh, Tommy Dreamer. Oh, God damn. I was there. I was there when Tommy Dreamer beat him. Um, which is crazy. Because that was... Uh, 
Victory Road 2023, I was there. That was exactly a year, bro, actually, funny enough. Not not to this day. But crazy. I was there. I, I saw uh, Masha. I saw the Chantelage. I saw all of them. So, uh, right, 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 right. What was up? Mike. But yeah, right. So what you said, I'm going. What you said. Hold up, is my mic up? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so what yeah, you I agree. Going, what you said. Yeah, yeah. So, so what they were going to yeah. TNA is like, um, I realized that if you, TV wise, if we're like, or programs, are, are way bigger in a position than TNA. And that's just obvious. And. You know, maybe they will go back to the TNA or I don't even know what I'm saying. So they go to AEW. You go to AEW, new opportunities, new, new matches, people they never faced before. It's kind of the whole reason why Ricochet went to AEW and not TNA. You know, like you said, like Ricochet could have really ran the X Division if he went to TNA. Yeah. Which I think um, he should have. Because. Honestly, yeah. As y'all could, as since uh, Ryro and Matt, they 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 mainly watch AEW more than WWE. Obviously, you know, uh, Ricochet. Uh, like, like no, I, no, no, I watch both Raw and SmackDown and NXT weekly, and AEW. Ryro only watches AEW weekly, like five. Yeah, I wa- okay, watch. Uh, uh, he watches. He watches. I, I watch the PLEs for WWE. I I watch Raw SmackDown occasionally if there's anything good. I'm starting to watch NXT a little bit more, but mostly NXT. I watch AEW, Stardom, and GCW. That those are like my big three. And by AEW, you mean Dynamite? Cause- you do not be, I do not see yeah, Collision do. with like. I'm a beyond. I well, co- that's because Collision be on a Saturday. Some of the matches don't be hitting, and I don't even care about Rampage because that's like, just new AW Dark. So, so the thing about Collision is, if Collision was on Thursday, much better, much better. I agree. I think it would be yeah. much better. And yeah. if Rampage was on a Sunday, yeah. much better. I say cancel Rampage completely and just make it Ring of Honor. That I've been saying that for for months. Well, they're making I, a new I, they're making a new show on. Wow, well, this, this is the room we talked about it on the podcast. But uh, they're making a new show called nope. Shockwave. <laughs> Matt, you're lagging, yeah. brother. You're lagging. You going through that hurricane? It's lagging. Um, what's the point? No one watches Rampage. Yeah. Yeah. To piggyback, yeah, for real. He's lagging. Oh my God, it's hitting me. It's hitting my soul. Uh, well, is your phone dying? Like, no, not the lag, police. Oh, oh nah, you on that K Dub challenge? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I came back just in time for that. Oh, oh no! Nah. I want to hear Matt's opinion too, but you're lacking. Turn off the cam. Turn off the cam. Turn off the cam. Turn off the cam. Turn yeah. Off the cam. Why are we doing a full show? Make no sense. Turn off. The, let's see if it, you'll be good. But, okay. Let's see. Let's I think we good. You good? Hold up. No, I'm on my laptop. Switch over. Uh, yeah, yeah. Turn off the cam. Keep the cam on. Because it's gonna, it's gonna. <laughs> um. Hold up. I'm on. Gonna... Okay, uh, hold on. Hey, it's the first episode. All right. Shit, all right. shit, it, shit's it, gonna fuck up. It's all, right. all good. Technical right. difficulties. But, yeah. Uh, I said, you said you're in your podcast, like, on the Saturday being collision days. I, I posted in the comment section that Saturday suck for collision because sometimes when WWE runs a pay per view, it coincides. So it takes away from the viewing. Yeah, and, and if they if they move to Thursday, I'm not saying TNA is not competition, but they will only have to face TNA. And does GCW run shows on Thursday? No, GCW does their shows on Sundays and sometimes Saturdays. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would think that they just do weekend sure. shows. But yeah, yeah uh, they only yeah. Thursday, it's just weekend they will shows. Only for have TNA and sorry. I think they'll be fine if, if they move Collision to Thursdays or if they, with the Shockwave show, 
uh, which is going to Fox. I'm a- Supposedly. Let me speak on. Let me speak on this because I, I feel like it's like what you said before. Fox, it's just Fox being petty, and they just and they just going to AEW for this quick thing to be like on some you know fuck WWE. Um, but I'm a, I'm gonna just say this. How how is it, Tony Khan? I, I'm speaking to you, Tony. I'm speaking to you. How is it that AEW can get all these shows, but Ring of Honor can't get a single TV deal? You go and making all these asinine shows. We got something called AEW Overdrive, where they was basically just ridiculousness, but with AEW superstars. But you tell me you can't get Ring of Honor a TV deal? What's going on? I feel like that's a big problem because a lot of even non AEW fans are shouting like, "Yo, can we like get ROH on TV?" Like we're actually. We will actually be invested in that, and yeah, I would I would be invested in that. Athena is one of my favorite women wrestlers of all time. And, you know, seeing her on TV, it would it would be amazing. But she's just not on TV anymore. I mean, it, it, it sucks. And I know Mark Briscoe is doing his thing down there, but it sucks. We don't really get to see it. Um and uh. Billy Starks, I want to see her improvement, you know. Uh, Queen Amanana and her, and her other girl. Who's her other girl again? I forgot her name. Oh, Red Velvet. Red Velvet. I want to see their improvement. You know, there's, there's a lot of things on ROH that uh, can can actually catch the eye. And, I mean, they're trying. You know, Athena, she's about to face Giselle showing for her ROH title and uh, MLPW. Even though, oh, Scott the Moore's company. Yeah. Um, MLP. Even though I almost said My Little Pony wrestling for a second. But mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, that that should be a, a interesting match. And I think on that same card, you know, you got, I think it's a Josh Alexander match, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Uh, MLP wrestling. Double check who's on the card, uh, who's on the upcoming card, I guess. Um, is it? Damn, that shit don't say nothing. But, um, yeah. I, like, with, with shit like that, always definitely needs to, they definitely need a rebirth. Like, it, it's, it's starting to get sick enough. Yeah, and it sucks because I was watch. Cause it's not like Tony bought ROH and I started watching some little stuff. I was watching. I started watching Ring of Honor around the time they put them on. They got their TV deal for Destination America, and that's. I'm gonna keep it a buck. This is gonna sound crazy, but, I, and I was young at the time, so I had after AJ Styles had left DNA. I had no idea where he went. I honestly thought he died. So, oh, when, so to my so to my chagrin, when I see Ring of Honor and me and my dad after we watch Impact, and we're like, Ring of Honor wrestling, let, let's see what this is about. AJ Styles is on the episode, and he with the Bucks because they in Bullet Club, and I was like, wait a minute, what is this? What's what what's going on? I'm like, this is where he's been the whole time. He was he was on his IWGP Championship run at the time. So I was like, I had no idea because I was only really just WWE and TNA when I was young. That's all I knew. Um, I wasn't cultured, so I didn't know anything about like New Japan or Noah or anything like that, or or even Ring of Honor. So when I when they got to Destination America, and I want to say 2016, like Cody got there, Adam Cole. I started watching Adam Cole, the Briscoes. Became my dad's favorite tag team. He's a Jay Briscoe fan to this day. Rest in peace, by the way. Um. So yeah, I've been watching them for like since 2016 till now, and it really sucks to see what his what it's become. And it's not like terrible, but it's it's still good. But it's just the things in place that keep me from watching. Like I'm not gonna pay to watch it on honor club i'm not going to do it so and then like i said it's like the barriers with them getting all these tv deals and getting all these shows that are unnecessary but you can't get ring of honor 
to get a TV deal. Now, I don't know what's going on at Warner Bros. in the studios. I don't know how Tony be doing his deals. Maybe he has been trying to get Ring of Honor on TV and Warner just don't want it. But it's hard for me to believe that when they just announced Shock, well, well they didn't announce Shock. It's rumored that there's going to be Shockwave on Fox. You got AEW Overdrive on TNT. I'm like, it makes me believe that you're not trying to get Ring of Honor on TV and you're really just trying to push it for this max deal that's been hanging by a thread for about a year or so now. So at this point, and the thing is, well, technically, AEW is on Max, but it's only in Europe, not in the U.S. So it just so at this point, AEW fans are just waiting for it to be announced on U.S. But how long until we actually get that? I mean, shit, man. Th- th- thank God for stream links, because I would not be watching a- uh, ROH without Allegedly. it, even though Allegedly. I don't watch ROH. Oh, yeah, fact, Allegedly, fact, yeah. fact. Allegedly, allegedly, thank God. So I'm looking at uh, Four, extremely. the uh, Maple Leaf Pro Wrestling card uh, on Cage Match Academy. Uh, there's only a couple couple matches announced for uh, each Forge and Excellence right now. Um, obviously, you got the Athena versus Giselle Soul match. Uh, you got Mike Bailey versus Takashita, which. Ooh. That should be matching the Oh. Year. I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> oh bro. Oh, they heavy, cook. heavy bias with that oh, one. And heavy, and heavy bias with the Josh Alexander versus the Castro match as well for me. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah. I, 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 I got to say something about Takashita. Uh, yo, before you, before you, before you, before you, before you say something. You say something. Uh, yeah, yeah. I used to, yo, like, a few months ago, I used to think Takashita was shit. I, bro, I don't know what happened. The whole shit just changed. This dude is just a monster to me. And honestly, should be the next AEW World Champ. I think he should retire Danielson. You put some, you put someone like that to retire Danielson, you give someone like him a name. People know him, obviously. But not a lot of people know him. Not enough people know him. Um, yeah. Way better Shinsuke Nakamura. Way better. My not to compare yeah, to anything, him, well technically Shinsuke yeah. said he's the new king of strong style now he basically gave him uh passed him the torch yeah so yeah but bruh so it, it, Tony Khan that, that's an interesting take Tony Khan I'm talking to you right now man even though you're probably not gonna oh, watch God. this but still you should watch it bruh get off your fucking <laughs> ass you actually booked to catch the Outside of the Don Callis family, he is way too talented. He has too much potential to be fucking stuck with bitch ass Kyle Fletcher in this tag team and being managed by bald ass Don Callis, bro. Well, Kyle, Kyle <laughs> Fletcher is uh, Will Osprey's partner, man. Uh, well, well, yeah, that's yeah. because Will was part of the Don Callis family, but then he left the family. Kyle's still in the family. But Will wants nothing to be associated with the family. It's a very weird thing going on. Like it's like some. It's like it feels like Kyle's out of the family, but he's not out the family. And the thing is, it feels like I don't know what's the deal because Don's supposed to be heel, but Kyle's a face now. Takeshka's a heel, so it's like Don's like playing kind of both sides of the fence with both of them so it's 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 just a very weird thing going on and that uh, i don't know it's very confusing the don Callis family has been confusing since they stopped focusing on kenny omega that's where that shit okay well it wasn't confusing can we speak on that it was terrible can we speak on that because tony khan yeah tony khan has a habit of starting very good things and then turning them into most asinine things when the don Callis family started the sole purpose of the group was to take out Kenny Omega and anyone close to him. It was absolutely perfect. You got to you got uh, Takeshka, who who Don is like he is the new you. He is better than you. He can do his, your own moves better than you. He's basically he like he's he's better than you. He's gonna replace you. Yeah. Then you bring in yeah, he, Offspring. Yeah. His yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. He brings in Osprey, his, I would say his second enemy, because technically Okada is like his main final boss, like character, like, like his mortal enemy. But Will became like his 
second mortal en- enemy. But you bring in Will, the guy he passed the torch to in New Japan when he left to start AEW, and now all he wants to do is ruin his life. And then it's like, now we doing good. Now, this is where it gets tricky, because now you bring in Chris Jericho. I don't know why. But then Don Cow's family became this whole thing of wanting to take down Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho. And then the Chris Jericho thing was he had the JAS and he was like, leave your you leave the faction you created to join my family. And he thought Chris wasn't going to join. So he planned to turn on him and was surprised when Chris joined. They turned on him and then they added Will Hobbs and Will Hobbs explanation for joining was he hated Chris Jericho and his reasoning for hating Chris Jericho was he went to a house show where Chris Jericho was 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 wrestling and in kayfabe he yelled at his grandmother Jericho was a heel at the time and he yelled at his grandmother in the front row and he got mad and he basically said I hated Chris Jericho since then I done and I wanted nothing to um to do with him and I always wanted to get my hands on Chris Jericho so basically you're you're telling me Will Hobbs as a child saw Chris Jericho doing his job and was yelling at your grandmother because he's a heel and you took it personally like you Michael Jordan and grew up wanting to beat up Chris Jericho so you became a wrestler to beat up Chris Jericho what happened here? And that's why I like hey, his agent hey, at some point you should and this is all believing the stupid ass story so we're led to believe that Will Hobbs came into wrestling, figured out that it was scripted and he was just playing a character and he still wants to beat him up just for playing a character, like, what the fuck we doing here? This makes no damn sense. Like I said, like, it's like it's like I said, but this is why it's a, I have a love-hate relationship with AEW and when you asked me do I like Tony Khan, I was like, it's a yes and no depending on the day, but as of right now, it's a no because of the bias with the with Hangman beating Swerve. Um, it's very hard to I will admit, so when people say it's hard to get in the AEW because of the storytelling, I am 100%, I understand, because some of the shit really don't make no sense. If some of it starts off really good and then turns into some shit. I forgot who I was talking to. Maybe it was Nep, but it, we was talking about the Outcast, and we was like, it was a very good idea oh, on true. paper because it was, oh, Soraya, Ruby, Tony, they're from WWE. Yeah, yeah they we were talking that, a bit about that. Yeah, they were like, they're oh, yeah, not getting the, treated as good. That group was, was, was awesome shit. And then I don't know what happened. They had a good theme song. They had a good mixture of just personalities. And Tony was obviously the biggest name. But like, what happened was that Tony turned heel face. I don't know, because she was already a heel. And fucking Soraya, tur- Soraya turned on her, but Soraya turned a- was still a heel. So you think she turned as a face, but she's still a heel. Like it makes no fucking sense. Like, yeah, it was very. Doing what? Sucking. And, and then Ruby got pregnant, and then Anna J joined at one point. Then she left because she went to stardom. Like, it makes no damn sense. Funny enough, I was there for the show oh, where Ruby me. turned on Soraya. I was there for that. I watched that live. We was there and. It was leading up to stuff because, you know, the, the Angelo stuff was going on with, with her and Soraya. So when she turned, I was like, finally, like, it's about time. Because um, I was like, it felt like the outcast ran its course. You add in Harley Cameron, who really didn't add much of any value, didn't really bring any value to the group. Because yeah. honestly, it's like it's like um Matthew said, Tony kind of, Tony very much became bigger than the group. So yeah, she Tony became a way Tony. bigger star. Yeah, I know. I almost thought. Well, technically, he is technically an outcast if we're really thinking about it. But uh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) But yeah. I mean, I think Ruby had a chance. She just got pregnant, kind of at the wrong time. Not not saying that being pregnant is a bad thing. I'm just saying like she would have. I think she would have had a push. Um, and I yeah, I mean, yeah, because like, Soraya is out the door. Because during the uh, Owen Hart tournament, in the first one and the second one, uh, Ruby was the runner up. So I was thinking, okay, the third one, she's going to win it. Then she got pregnant. Like and, and like you said, Ty, like, she she, she should be in for. She's, she's in for. She's just, 
Yo, the, 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 even though she got pre- the, the the downfall of Ruby Soho should be studied because she came in of like on fire when she, when that casino battle royal happened. I think a double or nothing when she debuted. She was on That's fire. And then and I then think of so. Course she ran into Britt Baker. Britt Baker and during her reign of terror. Oh my! Yeah, God. yeah. she lost to Britt Baker. Then the For TBS no titles. Oh, right, right. Then the TVS Howl came in the picture. Oh, and God. no shade to Jay Cargill, because she's a lot better now. But she lost to a still very green Jade Cargill. And everyone thought that was whack. So she didn't even win the TBS title. And then it's like what Matthew said. Everyone thought she was going to win the Owen. And then they didn't give it to her again. And it was like, can she get a win? Like, can she get a win? Like, it, 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 I'm not, yeah, I was very pissed off about that. Very pissed off about that. I believe she should have won that. She should have beat Britt for that AEW Women's Championship. She should have beat her for the Women's Championship, and she should have beat her again in the first Owen Hart Cup, bro. Man, there's only, yeah. there's only, how many women are on the AEW roster? There's only like four that I care about. Do you want to count like regulars? Right now. Me, you want to count yeah. like regulars or like people who show up? Like, 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 like occasional people. Like this, this legit only. I care about Tony Storm and what she's doing. Tony, yep. Mariah May because she's the current champion. Chris Jamie, Dick, Chris Dicklander, and Will yes. Knight. Uh, That's it. Okay, yeah. this Jamie is the, this is the women's division. This is the women's division, and most of these, and some of these people are at, most. I think most of them are actually injured. So Abaddon, but she's on Ring of Honor. Anna J is in Japan. Yeah. Athena. Uh, Billy Starks, well, but I she's count, injured. I count them as ROH. I'm okay. About well, strictly then. AW. Strictly AEW, that would be. Um, let me see. Britt. Don't care. Deanna. Uh, Deanna Perrazzo. Th- th- so, that's a fall off that needs to be studied. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You do need to study that one. What happened? What happened? I knew, happened? This was gonna happen. happen. I knew she was going to fall off like this, bro. Fucking insane, Tony Khan. The matches between going. her and Grace was so good, and then it's just it fizzled out. Deanna Perrazzo, she came in, had a pretty good feud with Tony Storm, and then fell to obscurity. I fucking knew this was gonna happen. It's not the first time it happened with Tony Khan. It ain't gonna be the last. Like obviously, yeah. I don't expect him to book like the same people every every week, but I feel like Deanna has just been on like rampage. Like she was most. She was mostly on Collision. She had a feud with Thunder Rosa. They had some really good matches, but because it was Collision, no one really watched it. She had a, a lumberjack match with her, which was really good. I watched that. They had a Texas bull rope match, which I think Thunder Rosa I, won. I heard about that one. I, I heard about that. One. So, yeah, that was a good match too. But uh, and then I think they had a street fight or or a light. I don't remember. What, what type of match it was? But they had a they had another match and that one was really good too. But like I said, because she on collision, ain't nobody watching. Um, I said Britt, uh, Shida, and she was just on the show last week, Bro, I, losing like, to Mercedes. Like that makes me not care about you. Like what? Uh, Jamie Hader just came back. I, Julia Hart is in. The, Julia Hart injured. I'm be real. I, I kind of don't care about Jamie right now. Like she returned, yeah. But it's like I mean, she has been booked. She has been booked like she has been booked enough to make you been, care about. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I, they it's got like, her stuck. I don't know. Like what's the she Soraya she, stuff? But I think that's the, done. She's with the outcast. It's gonna be a while before we even really like. But as long hey, as long as she stays away from Britt Baker, I'm good. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, he broke the murder. Yeah, the person that got a train ran on. Uh, allegedly, oh, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Those are the rules. Allegedly, led by uh, Christian Cage himself. But that, that's allegedly. That's allegedly. Say Alle- alleged. We don't know. Alleged. We don't know. Adam Cole moved out. Moved out. Adam Cole don't moved out without her. With that, that's a fact. We can't say allegedly on that. We know that's a fact. So. Did y'all, but, I have a question about actually the gauntlet match. I know that was the best match of the night. Uh, did y'all think that M- Motor City Machine Guns were going to come out? No. No, I didn't. No. 
No, I still I mean, think no, they're WWE bound, the honestly. Like, bro, all the reports have been saying that they're going to be going to WWE, so I would have actually been surprised if the, if the machine gun came out tonight. Yeah, I was not expecting. I know a lot of people were expecting them tonight, but as far as I'm concerned, they they going at, they at, they WWE bound, so I'm not really paying attention to anything anyone says about that. And also, we don't really know, but I think they are going to WWE. They're not going to AEW. People were also saying that the Lucha Bros are going to show up. Did they show up? No, they didn't show up yet. Okay. They they were reported to be WB bound too. The thing is, I don't. I think for Motor City, I think they said they might go to NXT. I prefer they go to the main roster. Same with the Lucha Bros. I prefer they go to the main roster. But uh, now watching NXT, I do know their tag team division is severely lacking. But then again, so is the main roster. So either way, they either way, they currently, the main roster. And currently, it's from. The, the, every tag team division is lacking. Yes. Because and, and, and it sucks. Because fucking the the current tag team titles in WWE actually look really good. Like I'm still glad that they're done with that penny ass bullshit, yeah. bro. Yeah. Them just need to go. Years I don't know. Ago. The pepperoni pizza is kind of whack to me. I don't know. Those aren't I don't bad, like the pepperoni though. pizza. I don't think they're, bad. Well, they're better than the last design, 100. percent I'm still not a fan, but I like. The SmackDown titles because they remind me of the old school WWE tag team titles. Yes. Yeah. So I was like, if we can do that for the SmackDown belts, why couldn't we make something like the old world tag team title belts for for Raw? But I get where they were going with it. I think, I, I, I'm think, just I think the 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 Raw ones were a test to see like the reaction that was mixed. But when, when they was like, yeah, we're gonna go hard for the SmackDown one easily. They went yeah. hard, and a lot of people love that title. Like, I feel yeah, like that would be man, a lot of people's like first titles over like the world title currently, um, and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm about to actually get uh, the Japan title, possibly the IWGP title, uh, maybe in like two weeks. Oh, wait, oh, wait, which one is it the one currently or the or the older one before that one? Let me see the one currently, like the one currently is buns. Thanks a lot, Kota Ibushi, for that one. But, but, um, oh, the, the wing one? Nah, 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 not that one. The old one. Okay, okay. The old one. Oh, the, oh, okay. Uh, the one Kenny and Okada was holding. Those yeah, ones. One. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. The, the classic. One. The one. Yeah. The one they should not have got rid of. But thanks a lot, Ibushi. Dude, that wing yeah. one. I mean, it's that like good. the fucking IWGP Intercontinental Championship actually looked good on its own, but then they fucking fused oh, it. Oh my like, <laughs> god. They ruined it. Uh, that that's all. That's a discussion for a whole nother, for a whole hey, nother day. Sucks. We can get into that. because because New Japan has been known for making some of the best title designs in history. It's like the IWGP United States Championship. That shit looks fucking phenomenal. Oh, uh, and phenomenal. they got rid of it for the global. Yeah, it's. Like, oh yeah, that US title. I, I thought that was draft. the best title out. That US title, best title. Out. I thought genuinely, I thought that was the best title. And yeah. then the World Heavyweight that- Championship. That title was absolutely amazing. Uh, but like I said, we could get into New Japan on a whole nother episode because I got yeah. I've definitely got some grievances about New Japan. One hundred percent. I mean all their talent left for AEW, so like just... speaking of can please. Can we uh, we got we got about twenty minutes left. Can we please talk about Jay White? Okay, um, okay. That's a fall off. The, the downfall of wow. Witch oh, okay. Blade. We King about Switch. This? Oh my god, okay. But I, thing is, I feel like Matthew's more upset than me, so I'm gonna let him talk about it. Cause I'm I have probably, my grievances. I'm but probably more upset you, than really? both of y'all, man. Cause, man. But, uh, Hey, uh, it's, yeah, it's man. Like, hey, Tony Khan. Hey, 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 Tony Khan. Hey, Tony Khan. This is fucking up Jay White for ruining his his fucking career, bro. This is for you, Tony. Please, just hear me, hear me good. Go fuck yourself. Oh, you're stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> Motherfucker, you had this man on top of the world. You gave him all this money. You basically, all right, so when, when Collision started, him and CM Punk, I think, were the number one and number two guys on Collision. Is that fair to say? It's very fast, 100%. I would say so. Bruh, bruh. CM Punk got fired. 
okay, there's really nothing. You, he, there, was, there was nothing that Jay White could have done about that. All right, he was having feuds. He had his own faction. Then fucking, he got into the feud with MJF. Everyone in the world thought that that was his time to win the title, and it was the perfect time. MJF was starting to fall off. You know, the title ring was getting a little stale. And then they had this man get injured in kayfabe. Had him fucking not even show up till the very last match just to come back out on fucking crutches. And then, and then fucking proceeds to be a fully healthy Jay White with help. And that was the start of the downfall. Like, how the fuck do you book yourself in this bad? Like, bro, I'm, bro, this is gonna be a hot take. I think that booking decision was worse than the Fiend and Seth Rollins Hell in a Cell match getting called in No God. Oh. Contest. That's, oh, that is a hot take. Ooh. That's a big hot take, and that match was absolute garbage. Damn. Bro, you had this man injured. JY had help. Fucking Adam Cole came out, and he was ready to fucking lay it down for MJF. Just for MJF to come back and fucking beat him. It was beginning of oh, the Oh, wait, end. mind you. was terrible. Wait, mind you also, Adam Cole was technically the devil by this point. So that storyline too, but we'll get into that as well. Um, and then, so this is this is then after yeah. Jay go ahead, White, go ahead. Then after Jay White lost, I, I don't remember when it happened. Oh wait, no, no, no. Where's what happened? He proceeded he, to lose. He, he proceeded to get squashed. He, squashed. he got squashed, and then there was a continental Rob classic. Continental classic. He oh, got he took to the, the pin, right? He was, he was the only person. He was the only person that beat John Moxley in that whole tournament, right? Uh, other than Eddie Kingston, obviously. He beat John Moxley on the last week of the tournament before the final started. Beat him. Finally, to, to get his way into the triple threat. On the triple threat with Swerve Strickland and John Moxley, he's the one that ate the fucking pin. To John Moxley for no reason, but like, okay, Ryro, I remember this because we were all pissed off in the Discord. Fucking, <laughs> bro. And we talked about this recently. You wouldn't have been mad if Jay White won. We still probably would have been mad, but we would have gotten over it. Motherfucker, oh, yeah. the fact that John Moxley fucking won that match and pinned John Mox and pinned Jay White. I mean, it's a f like, what the fuck are you doing? We like, like bro, Mox if you look was at, at, at the first game. Okay, I've been sick of Moxley since uh, he played Captain Saberhole after the whole CM Punk thing. Yeah. I said, nah, I'm done with Moxley. Uh, oh, when you mean when when Tony, when he was like, I'm supposed to be on vacation, but but you know CM Punk keeps fucking up, so Tony has to keep calling me back to save the company. Yeah. I said, I'm, I'm done with Moxley. Yet, I'm still, I'm done with him now. Like I'm. I don't care about this storyline. Yeah, you came back. You should have never came back. I thought you was going to have a longer break, but you came ah. back. The JRB um, said the same thing. <laughs> like, why are you here? Uh, that, like, I don't um, remember. Like, all right, what, what, what did JY do for World's End? Like, what, what, what did he do on that show? I think he was Trio's champion, I want to say, but they weren't doing nothing. Oh, yeah, and like then that. New Year starts. New Year starts, he gets into a faction with the Acclaim. And, and this whole fucking Bang Bang gang, the name is Corny. The faction sucked. It was bad raps from Ash. They should just. They, like, oh, a Bang Bang they, Scissor they, they, gang was absolutely. Hey, and here's my thing about that. Can, can I speak on this too? Can I speak on this? Bang Bang Scissor gang was supposed to be a thing because the Undisputed Kingdom beat Bullet Club Gold up. And the acclaim because they were messing with MJF because Matt because Jay White was having a few with MJF and they beat him up. Then the acclaim were helping Max after they took after after, after um, to beat them and they st and they took them out and the whole thing was they were supposed to group together to take out the Undisputed Kingdom and they never ever they grouped up, scared them off and never had a match with them. They just completely ignored it, like completely ignored it. Because Adam Speed of Kingdom was injured half the fucking time. Yeah, true. Adam Cole was injured, but Roderick Strong, um, uh, Roderick Strong and Matt Taven and Mike Bennett and Warlow, they weren't. So you still could have fought them. You still could have fought them. Wasn't Warlow what, injured? I, bro, the Undisputed Kingdom 
then this would be Kingdom had it been in the devil storyline in general in hindsight had it been the biggest wasted time in AEW history in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I actually agree with that. Because like yeah. nothing happened. Time. Nothing happened after the big reveal. In hindsight, like it only it probably would have been better because if Adam didn't get I don't know. I don't know. Because because if it, there's a lot of coulda shoulda woulda if Adam got he didn't get injured, I think it would have been a little bit better. It probably still would be would be kind of whack, but I think it'd be a little bit better than what we got and them trying to salvage it by having an injured Adam Cole still get the reveal. So I don't know, but I don't work for AEW. I don't book the stuff. Yeah. I don't oh, book oh. it, so and I don't at know. At the very lowest points, I kind of back to Jay. Well, I'm almost done. You got to the Bang Bang Gang. Fucking with the tag with the trio champions, and then the lowest point of Jay White's career in AEW was being on the zero hour of Revolution. What uh, the fuck? What? what? I guess so. I don't even okay. remember. All I know is that he was on the Z, the pre-show of Revolution earlier this year. White, man. That's that's a generational fucking. Um, Yo, I can okay. Now, this is my grievance with the whole thing. He came. Well, he's another one that came in on fire because uh, I watched him. I watched his matches when he left New Japan, and I was like, "Oh God!" And I remember that there was rumors that he would go to WWE. That he that there was talks of him in WWE. So, and I was yeah. And I, I'm gonna go. I was a little scared because I, I I was still hating on WWE at the time, and I was like, "Please don't go there because they just gonna make you like they they gonna make you like a." I don't know what they're gonna do, but they ain't, you ain't gonna be Jay White over there. So when he showed up in AEW with the Bullet Club stuff, I was amped. I was so hyped, and it was him and Juice Robinson, and they were doing the Bullet Club stuff. And uh, Jay Light, David Finley was like, "They're not Bullet Club," and I'm like, "Shut up, you ain't even Bullet Club." But that's a whole other story. Um, but then he shows up. Um, oh no, sorry, he showed up originally. Before even when he was still in Bullet Club, he was showing up doing uh, appearances for AEW, and I was like, "Oh my god!" When he was still IWGP champion, and he was killing it, even before he got signed. And then I'll just jump to when he gets signed. Then he gets signed. They do the bank. They do the Bullet Club Gold stuff, and like Matthew said, they're, they he immediately gets into the program with MJF, Full Gear. He stole the AEW championship and was praying around with it. MJF never got his hands back on it. Until he until he beat him at full gear, but I love the storyline of him calling it the Bang Bang Belt, and he was holding it around and stuff like that. But yet yeah, the whole full gear match was way overbooked. I, it was so unnecessary, very unnecessary. He, should, I, I looking back on it, I I understood what they were trying to do with it, but that's a whole nother story. Actually, the Jay White story ruined the MJF story too. Another form of AEW's booking crazy. because it's like, bro, the whole after that no one took MJF serious. No, because the whole point of MJF's right. title run was supposed to be he was like, I'm holding the title hostage as a bargaining chip for Tony Khan to give me some more money. And he's like, if Tony doesn't give me any money, I'm taking the belt to WWE. He was calling it the bidding war of twenty twenty four. And then he turned face and then completely dropped the whole bidding war 2024 thing. And then it's like what Matthew said, it got stale because he wasn't he wasn't even heel anymore and he wasn't cheat, really cheating the win like that no more. He was playing face. Then the whole thing with the Adam Cole thing, Adam Cole's injured, going to hop out on crutches to fight for MJF. And then MJF comes back on his own crutch and Jay White's beating his ass through the whole match just for him to come back and win. And then, like he said, you get to the, to the Continental Classic, him swerving Moxley winning matches, and then you have him eat the pin to John Moxley, who didn't need to win the match, so we can get him and Eddie Kingston. And if anything, like I said, I was pissed that Swerve didn't win, but if Jay White would won, I wouldn't have been mad because I would have been like, he deserves this more. Like if anything, he's another person that deserves this opportunity more than John Moxley. Wow, Moxley was Captain Sable. Yeah, and then like you said, he started doing the, the stuff with Bullet Club Gold. They add the guns, and, well, they've been adding the guns into the group, but they were doing their own thing. They they won the trios gold. Then there's stuff with the 
with the acclaim happened and then like i said that ruined a whole nother storyline and then all of a sudden they just turned on the acclaimed and they start feuding for ever and then they won the belts just for jay white to get in oh i'm sorry they had the darby allen stuff it was the darby and sting stuff um this was i think this was after sting's retirement yeah they dropped the tag team belts and they were trying to go for that and then they injured darby because he was going to go climb mount everest and then he stole Sting's bat and painted it gold. And they were still praying around with the trio championships. And they were doing nothing with those. They were fighting on Ring of Honor death before. They were fighting on Ring of Honor pay-per-views with the belt. Because um, they won the Ring of Honor belt. They were, oh, like he said, they were on zero hour. Doing absolutely nothing. God, God, so, God, whatever. Listen. Yeah. Then he gets injured. And then... They just stripped them of the belts, even though when Juice came back, he was like, free bird rules, and they acknowledged that. They ended it off. Shit doesn't make no fucking sense what they did tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then, the speaking on the Darby thing, Darby came back, Jay White was still there, never spun yeah. the block on him for injuring his foot and stealing Sting's bat. Like, he stole Sting's bat and, paint, and spray painted it gold and told you, if you want it, come get it. And Darby came back and never got it. <laughs> it's like when Jay comes back, bro. Fingers crossed. It's crossed that he fucking does something at this point. It's like, it no sense, bro. like man, especially uh, that, especially that, 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 that Billy Gun loss, man. That that just turned me off. And, and man, at this point. The next episode of All the Waffles should just be fall off. Oh, the, 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 we should fall, we should fall off. Uh, Sadie, she already fell off, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Anyway, I'm saying um, we gotta talk about fall offs next episode because we we can talk about a lot of those. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is just a pilot episode, guys. We're, 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 we got a new show coming out. Uh, All the Waffler. Uh, check out. Uh, playing possum podcast as well uh we're, we're not entirely sure if we're gonna post this on thursdays we might just record on thursdays and post it on thursdays but this was on a wednesday after the podcast so we're kind of well i'm kind of very tired but um this has been you know a tied father figure and uh basically the real host of this show I could go ahead and do the outro. Kind of. You want to start, Matthew? I'll let you do your outro first. Oh, yeah. Okay, outros. First of all, I just want to say fuck bitch-ass Kyle Fletcher and fuck Ryan Cage. I'm not going to wish okay. injury on you, but motherfucker. Now go home and Both smoke some y'all. more crack. Uh, motherfucker okay. Kyle Fletcher, bro. If I ever see you, man, if I ever see okay. I'm not trying to get us kicked off the air, shit. All right, all right. Uh, for me, it's for my, name's Ry- for uh, my name's Ryro. My name's my Ryro. Uh, Mariah May, if you see this, you know, hit me up on Twitter. You know I follow you. I, um, hey, man, Adam Page, if I ever see you, but you know what? I'm you not even going to say it because I'm not going to get kicked off. I'm not going to get kicked off the air. So <laughs> we're going to keep it there. Right, we will see you guys next week. For, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh. In addition to what Ryro said about Mariah May, uh, Sky Blue, if you ever seen, if you ever seen this, this guy, uh, just know. this guy. Oh, God. We will see y'all next week. Next week. Appreciate the you. Episode of I appreciate Elite you. Walking.